Welcome back. I just got out of the woods deer hunting. Uh, stopped and got some buffalo wild wings and went to Melissa's office and we had lunch. And now I'm heading back to the farmhouse. And I wasn't going to do a video this soon, but uh, we have a snowstorm, a possible snowstorm coming. And it's supposed to start here in a couple of hours. Well, at first they said it was only going to be like two to four inches, not a big deal. Then it was 100% chance of four inches, which still isn't a big deal. And then they said now that it could be five to eight inches, which it's, you know, that's a nice little snowfall. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. Since we're so close to Lake Superior, uh, a lot of times the lake will kind of hold it back. And uh, sometimes when it comes over us, the lake will kind of hold it in place and we'll get dumped on. So we'll just have to wait and see. Well, it's snowing out now. You can't see it real good with this light, but it's actually coming down pretty good. I don't think we have more than maybe, maybe three quarters of an inch so far. And we'll just have to see if it gets any heavier or not. Arthur, um, you know, I, I was just thinking of how some people say you shouldn't rush into a new relationship. Okay, everyone, well, we're going to bed. I think we have uh, somewhere between four and five inches. You really can't see it right here. I think the covered porch thing is a great idea when it's raining, but usually when we're getting storms like this, the wind is coming out of the north or northwest, which blows it right in here. You can see what a mess this is. I think a couple pieces of plexiglass right there that could be taken off in the spring. And another couple of pieces over on this side would be nice to keep the snow out. I'll show you up front how much has uh, got on the railing. Here you don't get as much anymore because of the covered roof, but it's definitely snowing. Good morning everybody. Looks like we got a total of eh, between six and seven inches of snow out there. sure that this road would be plowed but obviously it's not. I don't have any problem with it but in a few hours when Melissa has to go to work they'll probably have plowed the in front of the house and then it's going to create a big drift or whatever you want to call it you know, after the snow plow goes by and hopefully she can get through that with their truck. driving along at about 45 miles an hour. A lot of people are passing me like I'm sitting still, including a lot of the 18 wheelers. I mean, those guys know what's going on more than I do, but uh, I see them in the ditch sometimes too.
person was in the left lane, they lost control and crashed into the the center median thing, that cement thing. <laughs> uh, some people are having a bad day. Well, I'm just about to work now. What usually takes two and a half hours took, uh, right now we're at three hours and 40 minutes. All right, what a day. Time to head back to the farmhouse, and I'm guessing the roads are going to be a lot better now. and bought some windshield washer fluid, a couple gallons of it. I ran out today and this time of year is not a good time of year to run out of that. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. This is actually one day later at night. I was gonna end this video today, uh, driving home from work, saying how the roads were so much nicer. And then we had a snow squall warning come up, and a snow squall is when you get a band of snow coming through that can drop like between one and two inches of snow per hour. Well, that didn't really work out. <laughs> so, um, I've got my truck running right now. I'm just gonna let it run for about a half hour to warm up. I'm heading for deer camp tomorrow morning early, uh, before light, way before light. And uh, I've got some stuff in there that could freeze, food type things, potatoes, oranges. And uh, it's gonna get down to in the teens tonight. So I wanna warm the truck up one more time so they don't freeze. I will see you guys on the next video.